Welcome to day number four of our nine day road trip in Taiwan. If you're new here, make sure you watch part one first. It's right up here. So, after exploring the northern part of Taiwan and Taroko National Park, we continue down here in Hualien City. We already left the national park and now we're we're gonna go we're gonna go eat at a place that one of our friends recommended. It's supposed to be really good dumplings yes. and really delicious soup. It's here in the Guadian City. Alright, let's get it. Then it was time for some dessert. I checked Google Maps and found this cute little shop which was selling mochis, ice cream mochis, cheesecakes and more. Mm. I mean, look at this cheesecake! So cute! The desserts are very chilled when you receive them, so make sure to wait a little bit before you eat them. After lunch, we drove about 30 minutes to visit this hidden place where actually one of our friends got married. stop ever all right goodbye room yo I still can't believe how beautiful today is it's so warm Are you ready to drive like three, four hours or something? I think it's more like five. Okay. Five hours, okay. I think my mom is driving a little so I can figure out more stuff. Cool. Yeah. Sounds good, brother. Yeah. Alright. We just arrived to this new city and I think they're trying to find a meter but it turns out you don't need to find the meter here you just park your car grab a piece of paper put the times that you arrive and then with the parking police comes in they write a ticket with the time and do it for you and you just have to go pay at 7-eleven later Boy. That's a lot of dedication. Now, let me show you why we drove five hours to Kaohsiung. The 
sunset today it's perfect i don't know if you can still see it this is like a crazy good spot for pictures drone footage 360 footage anything literally anything you can think of this is just absolutely mind-blowing wow the only downside is mosquitoes god i hate them so we specifically came to see the famous dragon and tiger pagoda but it was under construction regardless it was all still very very beautiful Lambay Island, also known as, I'm probably gonna pronounce this wrong, Chiao Liu Ku. Hi, let's see what we find. It's a small island off the coast of Taiwan. It's very famous for its stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, and turtles all year round, making it a popular destination for snorkeling and diving. Google review says if you haven't seen this rock, that you haven't been to the island at all. And of course, we came here mainly to see turtles and we found them. Friendly reminder that you are by law prohibited to touch the turtles and can even get a fine for that. But of course also don't touch any other marine life. It causes them stress and can even kill them. After our turtle adventure, we drove back to Taitun County where we spent the night and next morning we drove one hour to the hike. After parking the car somewhere on the road, we walked 30 minutes down to the actual trailhead. This is the view while hiking down to the famous hot springs. Wow. On the way down, we met this cute little dog. Some really nice people placed these gloves on the poles for hikers to use them. And of course we did, because the way down to the hot springs is very steep and there are ropes on each of the side of the path until the very end. So the gloves came in super handy to protect our hands, but I'm not gonna lie, they would not win an award for the best smelling gloves, if you know what I mean. As mentioned before, the trail is really steep, so even when going down we needed to take some breaks. But the vibes were always high. Towards the end of the trail, it got really crazy and sketchy, as we had to basically rappel down in some of the parts. It would be a completely different story without the ropes. I would rate it a rather hard hike. A little track queen. Oh my god, this is crazy. Look at the color of the water. Absolutely insane. This place is absolutely crazy. It was a tough, it was a tough way down here, but I think it's absolutely worth it. Now we have to figure out which one we pick. Why? Because up there the rocks are a little bit much. The hike down took us about one hour and as soon as we arrived at the river we set up our tents to secure our spot for the night. Naked, 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 naked. Ah! Why is this a call? Wow, it is cold. Oh. Oh, it looks like someone's cold. 
Wow, the water is freezing. Wow, this is so cool and scary. My feet feels kind of numb right now. That's crazy. I can't wow. <laughs> Walk. It's so pretty. All right. I'm about ready to get half of my body into the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my you god, why is she so green? Oh my god, it's hot! It's so nice, look at Jesus. it here. And even if you put your hand in here, it's warm. Oh my god, this is creepy. You don't have your phone, right? No. Whoa. It's coming from, why is... That's the water a, is coming down. That's there. a crazy color. Yeah, that's why they have different colors. Wow, the green is so strong. It's like max style saturation. Oh, that feels good. Oh, the rooms are warm. And when you walk in the water, the sand is warm. Really? Yeah. That's a crazy combo. Hot and cold. Wow. Welcome, travelers. You have come a long way. Like a champion. I guess I don't want to swim in there. Yeah, yeah come here. Woo. Maybe I'm gonna carry my flip flops. Trying to make this work. But the current is making it a little bit hard on me. And I don't know when I get my camera away. Not yet. The oh, water is crazy cold. Yeah. I ain't no. You can see all the steam everywhere. And then the water there is probably really warm. <laughs> now it's too hot. So now it's too cold and now it's too hot. Yes. <laughs> After soaking in the hot springs, we quickly made our way back. And at this point, I want to give you a heads up to not swim back right from the hot spring and rather take the climbing path you took before. The force of the water at that edge pulls you down and it is absolutely horrifying. Trust me. The moment we've all been waiting for. This is what Kevin was waiting for. Yeah. Damn. It's real, real sweet. Real soon. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you. <laughs> right, now it's time to drive back to Hualien City and explore the night market for some dinner and to find the last food item on Lenny's list the famous Tangulus. <laughs> Lenny's last day in Taiwan. So sad. You don't sound sad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sad for you that you're leaving. <laughs> Whoa, check out that view. It left me alone once again.
Okay, wait for me. Our last stop of this road trip is Jiufen Old Street, which is probably the most famous old street in Taiwan. Jiufen used to be a wealthy gold mining town during the Japanese colonial era, and it now preserves its cultural heritage through its architecture and traditional atmosphere. You can find many shops and small restaurants, and most of them offer free samples, so don't be shy and try as much as you can. Just one. Jiufen <laughs> Old Street served as the inspiration for the animated film Spirited Away, contributing to its worldwide fame and attracting fans from all over the world. Right next to the famous Ame Tea House, you can find this narrow tunnel, which make sure to walk through and explore it. Yep, yep, she is. So this has been an epic road trip around Taiwan. Make sure you subscribe to not miss our upcoming videos of Taiwan. This is how it ends. Till the next one. You send it. Yes. Then I can say goodnight to you.